Hello crafty friends, welcome to another embossing folder technique video. Today I'm making this card using only smooth white cardstock to demonstrate how a bit of texture can substitute itself for colour in card making. First things first, I took a square of smooth white cardstock and die cut a circle from the centre. This gave me a panel to emboss and an aperture for my focal point. To emboss my panel, I used an Argyle pattern embossing folder by Cuttlebug and lined up the card so that the pattern would be more or less symmetrical, both horizontally and vertically. It's usually best to die cut from your panel first and then use an embossing folder to add texture. If you emboss and then die cut, you run the risk of flattening your embossing. I chose the Argyle pattern for its regular repeating pattern, which I thought would give the panel texture, but not distract from the focal point. Next, I die cut a circle frame using the die I used for the aperture and the next size up die. All I did was line them up so that there was an equal size gap between the two dies all the way around tape them down and then ran them through my mini Gemini. In hindsight, I might have used a stitched circle die for the larger circle so that the frame came out with a bit of stitching on it, but I'll remember that for next time. To add the frame to the aperture, I used tacky glue. And I'm glad I added the frame because I think it gives the aperture a more solid and finished edge and adds a bit more texture. I wanted the card behind the aperture to have some texture on it too, so I used a falling spots pattern embossing folder to add texture to it. I always think of this particular embossing folder as falling snow, but it doesn't have to be. If you only use a small area of it, it just looks like random dots. So next I cut my dotty panel down to fit behind the aperture and added foam tape to separate the two layers. This added some lovely depth to the card. After I'd added the dotty panel to the back of the aperture panel, I adhered the whole thing down to the centre of a square card base. To embellish the aperture, I die cut some leafy branches from smooth white cardstock and vellum and then added them to the left side of the circle with the vellum at the back. I think the vellum adds a lovely softness and floatiness. For sticking my die cuts on the card, I just used tacky glue. My sentiment says wishing you every blessing and I typed it using my vintage typewriter and then I cut it out using a stitched banner die which just so happened to be the perfect length for the job. I added foam tape to part of the banner and added the sentiment so that it linked all the layers together. I hope you can see what I mean. And that's it. It's a real no fuss, no mask, clean and simple card, all in white. With all that lovely texture there, there's absolutely no need for colour this time. I hope you like the card and that the video has inspired you to dig out some of your embossing folders. If it has, do subscribe because I've got lots more ideas to come. Right, thanks for watching and I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye for now.